Let's look at what the velocity graph would look like for this curve. So this is a velocity in meters per second. So this is the position uh, for uniform motion as a straight line. That's what we're saying. What do you think the velocity is going to be? Well, we've said over and over again that the instantaneous velocity is going to be the slope and the line tangent to the position curve. But this position curve is just a line, and it never changes slope. So the instantaneous velocity is the slope and the line tangent to this thing, which just means it's the slope of this curve at all points is exactly the same thing. So the velocity here is the same as the velocity here is the same as the velocity here because you're looking at the slope at those different points and they're all the same thing. So if this is the position, the velocity, I don't care about units, so I'm not labeling anything, but if that's the position, the velocity, what do you think it's going to be? It's going to be a constant, a number that doesn't change with time. Notice this could be, you know, five meters per second or whatever, and this is time ticking along in seconds. But you notice how the velocity doesn't change. It's non-zero. You could be going three meters per second or whatever, but it doesn't change. So we say, Notice the acceleration zero, the position time graph is a straight line, the velocity is constant. These are just different ways of saying exactly the same thing, uniform motion. This is a straight line because the velocity is constant during uniform motion. Learn anything at mathandscience.com.